Hey there, it's Brooks here from DocumentSnap.com, and today I'm going to talk about an application that I use quite a bit on my iOS devices to clip information to Evernote. The Evernote Web Clipper bookmarklet sort of works, but I find it pretty hacky. But I came across this application that won the Evernote Trunk Conference Award called Everclip, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. And Everclip is a little application that runs in the background and takes anything that you copy and allows you to send it to Evernote. So what you want to do is when you're ready to start, you know you're going to want to copy some things. What I do is I tap and start the little Everclip application and it starts up and we've got it there. And now it's ready to accept information from us. So now I can quit it and it's running in the background. And so where I usually use this from, in fact, 100% of the time I use this from, is web browsers. So let's flip over to my web browser here. And let's say that I want to clip this recipe for a dark and stormy and have it sent to Evernote. So there's a couple different ways I can do this. But if there's just a little bit on the page that you want to clip, all you need to do is highlight like you would normally in any other, any other way in iOS and hit copy. And if you have the sounds turned on, which I like for some reason with this app, but they have nice sounds, you'll hear a little beep. And that tells you that Everclip has copied that information. So let's take a look at it. So I'm just going to flip back to Everclip now. And you can see here now, it's it has the information that I've just clipped. And if you go through and you clip a bunch of stuff, it's going to show one line for each. I'm just going to tap in here. And now you can see it's taken the information that I, I highlighted and has it ready to send to Evernote. Cleaned up a little bit and at the bottom there's the URL. And I can give it a title if I want or I can just send it to Evernote. So I'm just going to call it Dark and Stormy. And I can give it a tag if I want. By default, I have it set up because I'm almost always using this to clip blog ideas. I have it give it a default tag of blog ideas. I'm just going to get rid of that and I'm going to say this is a cocktail. And when I'm ready, I just hit this button up in the top right hand corner and that will send it to my default notebook in Evernote. If I want to change what is the default notebook, I can just go up here to the settings. And you can see I can give it default tags if I want, default notebook. But I want to bring your attention to this setting right here, download clipped URL. And that is an easier way if you just want to clip the whole page and not have to mess around with manually copying and pasting. That is the usual way that I do it. So let's see how that works. Let's, flip, let's hit done. And let's flip to our browser and try capturing the whole URL. Okay, so we've got another recipe here, the delicious Henry Box Brown. And so what we're going to do is instead of messing around trying to copy and paste this stuff, all we're going to do is we're going to hit the share button down at the bottom and then hit copy. And Everclip will make a noise because it's still running in the background. And we can flip to Ever Everclip now. And we can see now the page that we've just clipped is there. And when we tap on it, we can see that it's grabbed the recipe from that page. Now, unfortunately, when you do it this way, it usually doesn't download the images. But for my purposes, usually that's fine. It's up to you. If you want to do the image, you'll just have to grab it manually. But for me, I'm going to get rid of this blog ideas. And I'm going to give it a cocktail tag. Another benefit you'll notice is when you capture the whole page, it's automatically given it the correct title, which is nice. It'll take the title from the page. So I'm going to hit the arrow up in the top right to share it. And now this has all been sent to Evernote. Let's flip over to the Evernote client and take a look at what's been clipped. All right, so here we are in Evernote. And you can see here is the first note that we captured using highlighting the text that, and image that we want and sending it. And here's the second note that we just captured using the copy URL feature of Everclip. So that's how to quickly and easy capture information from an iOS device using Everclip. For more going paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.